like to start the uh, meeting of the City Planning Commission. Would the planner please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Here. Alder Pisson Bourne? Here. Ryan Sazma? Here. Cherry Jones? Excuse, Marilyn Montemeyer? Here. Dave Hoffman? Here. And Don Sviton, excused. So we have a quorum. Very good. Next item on the agenda is Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand if you can and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next is introductions of committee members and staff. Dave Hoffman. Dave Hoffman, citizen member. Mike Vandersteen, mayor and chairman. Chad Pelishek, planning director. <coughs> Steve Sokolowski from the planning department. Uh, Ryan Sazman, Department of Public Works. <coughs> On the phone. Marilyn Montemayor, city representative. Alderman Jim Boren of the 10th District. I'm the alderman on the plan commission. Very good. Does anyone have a potential conflict of interest with the items on the agenda for this evening? No. Seeing none, we'll move on to the minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the planning commission minutes from October 13th. So moved. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Under items for discussion and possible action, item 3.1 is a conditional use and variance application for Samantha Hansen to temporarily operate Hansen Holiday Market and Christmas Tree Lot at the southeast corner of North A Street and Niagara Avenue, a vacant undeveloped parcel uh, with a long number. Yes. Steve? <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. Um, Samantha Hansen is here along with, I'm sorry, Alex Brooks. Um, and they're taking a look at some uh, Hanson's Holiday Market and Christmas Tree Lot at the southeast corner of North A Street and Niagara Avenue. Um, this is the vacant, undeveloped parcel located directly to the north of the building that houses the Nest, the Black Pig, and the Berkshire. Um, Hanson Holiday <coughs> Market would open the day after Thanksgiving and run Thursday mm -hmm. through sun Sunday until Christmas 2020. And the applicant indicates that they would vacate the property by December 29th, 2020. At Hanson Holiday Market, they would have uh, balsam and Fraser for Christmas trees, wreaths, swags, sprigs, snowflakes, cookies, cupcakes, coffee, hot chocolate, and other planter arrangements for sale. After paying for the costs of the Christmas tree, they will be donating all, in, all of their profits to Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sheboygan. And Hanson Holiday Market wants to bring joy to the town this year uh, by providing a place outdoors where people can come with their friends and family to pick out a tree or decorations for their home. That, uh, we're going to take a look uh, uh, at the uh, site plan. And um, the applicant just kind of indicates that they're going to have a 400 <coughs> square foot tent. Uh, with red and white stripes, you can see that that's uh, adjacent to the, uh, the building on the south end of the site. There'd be some heaters donated by the Black Pig. There would be six wooden stands that would hold the uh, Christmas trees, and you can kind of see those, how they diagonally go through the lot. Um, there would be white Edison bulb lights to hang over the tree lot, speakers for holiday music, and three life-size Christmas tree cutouts to take family photos. And then around the property would be some uh, white picket-style fencing with evergreen garland and lights on that. Um, Plan Commission may want to have the applicant just address kind of some of the hours of operation, how they kind of intend on managing the site just a little bit about the signage, if the building next door would be used for anything like lighting or anything to that effect, and um, any other vendors that would be operating from the site. 
Uh, applicant does understand that the site would need to be brought back to its original landscape condition in this very uh, visible downtown location. So if there was any damage, uh, that would just need to be rectified in a timely manner with the grass being reestablished. They are asking for a couple of variances. One is to operate the Hanson Holiday Market for approximately 30 days from the site and then to install a 48 square foot temporary banner for approximately uh, um, uh, the 30, the same time period. Uh, staff does believe uh, that this in conjunction with the city <coughs> Christmas decorations will add to the ambience and add, enhance the holiday experience in downtown Sheboygan. So staff was recommending approval of the conditional use permit subject to the conditions you have before you. I can answer any questions and the applicants are here. Thank you very much for that report, Steve. Uh, they also supplied uh, some information that's on the tables here for the commissioners that are in the room and two letters of support. And with that, I'd like to invite uh, the applicant to say a few words and answer those questions that you posed about the hours of operation. You can just step up to the podium here. Yep, pull it down. Oh. Okay. Um, so I'm here to really just promote my um, holiday market downtown this year. Um, I just want to bring something to our community that brings holiday spirit during all this time right now. Um, I've also been a part of Lakeshore Weekend, which was 11 years. So once that stopped, I kind of was looking to dabble myself into something else. And hopefully this will be successful that I can do it for a couple more years. But um, I'm just looking for approval to do it from you guys today. Um, the first pamphlet is Cupcake Sugar. So that's my business. And that would be where I would be supplying like the cookies and holiday treats that would all be baked, COVID friendly. Um, also another thing on my map is we do have two entrances, one in the front that's on a diagonal that you'd be going in from the corner on 8th and Niagara. <coughs> And then in the back of the back parking lot so that traffic can come in and go out one way so they're not going back and forth. Um, does anyone else have questions? For and then me? could you talk a little bit about your hours of operation and days of the week? Yeah, so Thursdays I was thinking about being open from noon until 8 p.m. Fridays and Saturdays from 9 until 9 and then Sundays from 9 until 6. Okay, very good. Commissioners, any other questions? Uh, Mayor, go ahead, Warren. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, this looks like a great addition to our downtown for the holiday uh, holiday season, and also, I'm very happy to see that your proceeds are going to go to an excellent organization, uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Sheboygan County. With that said, I would make a motion to approve, subject to the staff conditions. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor, Dave Hoffman. Yeah, I just want to say you, you are working in conjunction with Big Brothers Big Sisters. They're doing the, the yeah, lighting the, thing as they well. They have the campaign to light up the downtown with the green lights. Um, yeah. So I actually met with them on Monday, and we'll be incorporating like the green lights on our swags of our fencing with the white lights. Oh, great. Um, and I believe they're going to end... They're doing some promotion one of the days, kind of stopping at all the local businesses downtown, and then they're going to end obviously if this was approved at the tree lot to kind of do their big ceremony. Fantastic, thank so. you. Yeah. Okay, is there any other discussion? Roll call. Would the planner please call the roll for passage? Mayor Vandersteen. What's I? Alderperson Boren. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. David Hoffman. Aye. Motion, Motion passes. passes. Thank you very much for your Thank presentation. You so and we're looking forward to your opening. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next item is item 3.2, which is a conditional use and variance application by Heather uh, Management LLC to operate Pet Supplies Plus from uh, 567 South Taylor Drive, the vacant space in Taylor Heights Shopping Center. Steve. Thanks, Mayor. <clears throat> Jordan? Yes, All right, Jordan O'Connor is here from Design to Construct, who is representing Heather Management LLC. Uh, some of you may <coughs> recall the, the Heather, it's Dave Heather, who used to be uh, the owner of uh, Lakeland, uh, Toyota, and Subaru. 
So uh, Dave has taken a look as Heather Management at operating of Pet Supplies Plus at 567 South Taylor Drive. Um, Pet Supplies Plus is a nationwide pet supply chain whose locations are owned and operated by uh, franchise, franchises. And um, they've identified Sheboygan as a territory of growth. And Dave Heather, who currently uh, operates multiple locations across Southeast Wisconsin, would be the owner operator for the Sheboygan franchise. Um, typical uh, uh, services at the Pet Supplies Plus would include just retail points of sale for your typical uh, pet foods and products, self-service pet wash, dog grooming services, pet adoption. Um, types of services that would not be provided would be pet boarding, daycare, and dog training. The store will be staffed by approximately three to four full-time employees and 10 part-time employees. Typical hours of operation are 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday and then 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. Um, no for, uh, a sign package wasn't uh, presented at this time, but they would just work with staff with regards to signage. They are uh, requesting one variance, and that is the applicant is requesting to have a variance to have cats older than six months in their adoption area. Um, our ordinance just kind of talks about no dogs or cats more than six months uh, are to be kept on premise. And I think a lot of this is dealt with like the Humane Society and things of that nature where they have the cats, cats uh, for up for adoption. So staff was recommending approval of the proposal. Obviously this uh, Taylor Heights has had some vacancies. This, I believe this space has been vacant possibly since the Chinese restaurant moved out and, and started operating from the site, you know, the uh, outlot site. So um, this is a large space that's been vacant for a, a lot of time and it's a good use for the Taylor Heights Shopping Center and staff is recommending approval. Thank you for that report, Steve. Would the applicant like to make any other comments? Hi, as Steve said, I'm Jordan O'Connor. Uh, he did a pretty good job of explaining what we're looking at doing here. Um, I think the only thing that, um, you know, maybe we weren't, you know, explicit on just yet, um, and it was brought up just recently by, the, uh, by Dave Heather, um, the one thing um, that they would possibly be looking to do as well is the front um, curb area, the sidewalk curb they would um, potentially be interested in installing an ADA curb cut there just for, for customers and things like that. But that, I assume that's something that we could work with you guys on a staff level to make sure that location would be adequate and everything there. But beyond that, yeah, I'm happy to answer any other questions that you guys have for the, the proposal here. I can address that, Mayor, if you want. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, it, they, Mr. Heather and, and Design to Construct could just work with our building inspection department at the okay. time of occupancy permits and just let them know that that's one of the items that you're looking at doing and just work with them on, on that. I'm sure, you know, to uh, uh, provide an ADA access is a good thing. So yeah, it's okay. something that they'll work with you on. Okay, perfect. Great. Commissioners, any questions or motions? Make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. One last call for any other discussion? Seeing none, would the clerk okay. call the roll? <laughs> Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Older person Boren? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye. Dave Hoffman? Aye. Motion passes. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Good luck with your proposal. Thank you. Item 3.3 is a conditional use and variance application by the City of Sheboygan to install a new monument sign at City Hall located at 828 Center Avenue. Steve. All right, so what we're looking at doing here is I think we're familiar with the applicant. We'll just say, we'll just call it the mayor in this instance. <laughs> um, um, what we're taking a look at is uh, installing a monument sign along 9th Street. Uh, the sign would be a new single-sided, non-illuminated, 80 square feet, about five feet tall. The actual sign panel itself, uh, where you see the, the Sheboygan City Hall, is about 39 square feet. Um, you can see that the sign itself, in terms of materials and colors, um, is matching the building in terms of the masonry and brick, and then the flange aluminum, terracotta aluminum panel, and cast aluminum letters with brushed uh, silver finish. So, so it's a very attractive sign. One of the things that we are requesting is a variance. 
Um, the sign itself will be 15.2 feet from the face of curb, and typically it's supposed to be 24 feet. So we're requesting the variance to that. And basically what the sign is doing is just uh, identifying City Hall to people who are looking to do business at City Hall and directing them to the new front entrance and parking spaces in the front. So staff was recommending approval of the proposed sign. Thank you, Steve. Would the applicant like to make any comments? Mayor, do you have any comments? <laughs> <laughs> Are you having Except a hard motion? time finding the door? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, I've got a question. Please go ahead, Jim. Make it a good one. Thanks. <laughs> well, I will. First of all, is this coming out of your budget, Mayor, or where's this coming from? Uh, Chad said he found money for it. Chad, Don Don Sokolowski is in the audience. She'll she'll be happy to answer that. Hello, Alderborn. Um, Hi, Dawn. How are you? So, um, uh, well, some people, uh, some people have asked me that, and I said I'm as bored as an Amish electrician. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alderborn, you'll be happy to know that the sign was budgeted with the City Hall renovation project budget. We did have twenty-five thousand dollars allotted for the sign, and we are spending approximately eighteen. So, it's covered. That's good to hear. My follow-up question would be, I just happened to be coming, this would probably be for the mayor. Uh, I was just happened to be coming downtown earlier this afternoon to go to the post office and I was coming down Center Avenue and I thought about this agenda item tonight and it, it, the, the sign on, on 9th Street looks like it's going to be beautiful, but I'm wondering because there is so much traffic on Center Avenue on the old entrance side of City Hall, and seeing that we have $8,000 left, is there any possibility of maybe doing something on Center Avenue, maybe directing people over to the north side with an arrow or something? But uh, it just looks kind of bare there because there used to be a sign up there and now there's nothing, although the one on 9th is going to be beautiful. Well, well we thanks for that suggestion. We'll look into it, Jim. We, we had the, right. the, Jim, the original proposal from the sign was to put it back in the place on the corner um, where the original one was and after internal discussion and the fact of trying to make sure we, you know, direction people to where the door actually is, the decision was made to move it to 9th Street. But, um, you know, there is a sign outside that says use north and entrance and maybe that can be beautified more than just a street sign. So we can look at that. All right, yeah, that would be good. And and, and if, if it would be within that budget to kind of match something up with the one on 9th Street, I think that would be a great ambiance for City Hall, you know, for people coming from both directions. Thanks for that idea. Looking for a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. One last call for any other discussion. Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen. Would I? Older person born? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye. Dave Hoffman? Aye. All ayes. Motion passes. Dave? Motion to adjourn? Thank you. Is there a second? <laughs> second. All right. All those in favor of, motion, of the motion to adjourn, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Passes. Thank you for your time today. Aye.